What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm on my way to go get my eyebrows um, threaded. Because they are in badly need of a manicure. Um, so, yeah, we were talking about Regine and breaking up with this boyfriend of hers who was love bombing her and cussing folks out because they, you know, because they um, noticed his abusive behaviors. Um, I think it's... I think, you know, I know when we're young, we don't want to hear what older people have to say about, you know, about what they see in our relationships. And I know a lot of times, especially black girls, they get from these older, I don't know if you want to call them mammy types, male identified women who give just really bad advice, um, especially when they kind of like center men as the like end all be all for your existence. Um, But I'm not like that. And there are a lot of other women who are not like that. But I know that a lot of women have a bad taste in their mouth when it comes to listening to women give them advice. I learned... um, I don't think I learned it until like my 30s. I want to say in my 30s, my late 30s is when I realized that advice that I was getting from people, advice that I was getting from my dad, advice that I was getting from other women didn't serve me. Right. And you have to be kind of like you kind of have to listen to them. It's like when their advice kind of serves another person over yourself, um, you kind of got to listen, listen to that and take that into account. Like, how does this advice serve me? I think that's how you should take all advice from your peers, from people who are older than you, even people that are younger than you are people who don't have the experience, but are just looking like on the outside, looking in like, that don't look right. It sounds like this guy is love bombing you. Sounds like this guy wants you to seem like he's really into you to kind of hook you into this relationship. And ultimately it is a form of abuse. Um, it looks, it looks good because it's love, but it's bombing. It's just like all this stuff, you know, I can't be without you. I need to be I need to be around you all the time, kind of developing a codependent relationship. Um, And you're like, oh, we're together all the time. We haven't spent a day apart since we met each other. That's not healthy. That's not healthy. It's not cute. You might think it is. You might think it's cute that somebody wants to spend all their time with you, but you have to ask yourself, why don't they have other things to do? Why are they so invested in spending time with me all this time with me? And then when you decide you want to spend some time with yourself, they're like, oh, you know, trying to make you feel guilty about it. You know what? You don't like me. And then like getting jealous about it, you know, Um, and you got to watch out for that. But like I was saying in the other video is like a lot of these relationships that I think like the way that we market relationships, we have, you know, trained girls and boys to believe that every relationship they're in is going to last forever. And it doesn't. It's not designed that way. You have your whole life, especially as a young person in your 20s, um, saying you're going to spend forever with someone is a long, that's a long damn time, you know? And I don't think, I think, you know, as long as it lasts, that should be how we market it. Because, A lot of the times we spend our, we spend time in relationships, more time in relationships that are really past due. Like you're spending too much time 
with this person, you, you, you've worn, the welcome has been worn out, right? The, the time it has been worn out. Oh shit. I should have went right there. That's okay. I should have went right there. Cause that's where my place is. But yeah, you spent more time than you should have in the relationship. It's past due. And a lot of people, you know, when you develop those codependent relationships, it does take you a long time to realize I need to be, I need to be away from this person. I don't need to be up under this person all the time. Kia is making some real cute, um, their line of cars, they're making some real cute cars, Kia and Hyundai making some real cute cars. Um, I like the, the Kia's, um, the electric ones. Their, their, their cars are looking real cute, but anyways, so that's all I really wanted to say about Regine, you know, and, and, and her relationship with this boy. Um, you know, things aren't supposed to last forever and you have to stop thinking, um, you have to stop thinking that everything, that everything lasts forever because it doesn't. I need to charge my own damn phone. So that's all I had to say about that. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, let me go back. What else do we have? Um... Is it true that black moms don't allow their grown kids to curse around them? I think, you know, I, I, I saw that um, Miss Laura, um, you know, the comedian, she was talking about her kids cussing in front of her. They're grown way over 20, some in their 30s, and she doesn't allow them to cuss around them. A lot of people see it as disrespectful, but I feel like if you can cuss, I can cuss. We're both adults. Now, if I'm cussing at you, Maybe that's a little bit different, but if I'm just, we're just having a conversation and I use a cuss word, I, I, I don't know. I I think, I think applying, I think age, it's, it's all about age appropriateness. And if you, if the person that you are trying to respect doesn't apply the rules to you because they see you as a child, I don't think that that's fair. You're my child, so you can't cuss around me, but you can cuss around me. So what is the difference as two adults? I have to show this level of respect for you, but you don't have to show it for me. Even though we're two grown adults, you see me as a child in your eyes, your child. So therefore I can't cuss around you. That's not fair. That's not fair. And it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to treat an adult as a child. Yes, they're they're your kid. They're your child. You had them, all of this stuff, but they're not a kid and they should not have to abide by child rules, like rules for children. Now, to be honest with you, I've always, when I raising and raising my sons, they were always taught that curse words were words for adults. Now, do I hear them using cuss words? Yes, I do. As long as they're not cussing at me, I really don't care. I don't, I I just don't care. I feel like that parameter and that kind of boundary and rule, I feel like it's, it's, it, it, what does it do? As long as you're not sounding crazy and cussing, that's the one thing that I have told my son. Don't, if you're going to be cussing, you need to use it in the correct context. You need to use it where it applies. You don't need to be cussing just to cuss, right? And I think like when I hear them, like he, like my youngest son specifically, when he's playing video games. He, I'll hear him cussing and I don't tell him to stop. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's just, I mean, that's just not my style, but I don't feel like you should apply, especially their children. I don't feel like you should apply, you know, you know, these rules to adults, your adult children should not have to 
I mean, I mean, if it's a matter of respect, but if you cussing, then where's the respect that you have to like the respect only goes one way. I don't feel like that's fair. I just don't feel like it's fair. So anyways, I'm here at the mall, honey. I have to go get my eyebrows threaded. I'll probably come back out and start this video over. Let me see. Let me go down. There's no parking here. Oh, there's parking there. Well, let me go around. Yeah, I think that's weird to be like, I had you, you my baby, so you can't use no cuss words. What? Like, does that even make sense to you? Like, honestly, does it make sense to tell you're a grown adult? Now, like I said, if they're cussing at, at you, like in, you're in an argument, I can see like, don't cuss at me because that's for anybody. I feel like these, the rules that you place, it just doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, so I'm here. Let me park and um, we'll come back out and talk about some, uh, some other stuff. All right, peace. Take care of each other. Peace. Is this thing on? Is this bitch recording? Shout out to T.S. Madison. Y'all, I'm back. Let's see what we're going to talk about. And I'm kind of hungry, too. I'm going to stop and get something to eat. kind of want to sit down somewhere. Oh, yeah, this is not ideal. <laughs> but I do want to show y'all my eyebrows because she did her thing. Huh. Miss Ma'am did her thing with the brows. She even made a suggestion because it was not even over here she was like i want to take a little off i was like girl don't do me but she did good oh see it's like get it's going dead i don't know if it's going dead or what but anyways let's just stop the video here i did i did want to come back and let y'all see the what the brows were giving so we're gonna stop here that was enough for the other video i tried to come back i can't put it out here because it's already 70 something degrees and the sun hitting the phone is hot. And more than likely, the sun hitting the mount will probably fall off in a second anyways. So, all right. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Peace.